Hello, everyone. Sergeant Downey from the Kern County Sheriff's Office, Fraser Park Substation. I want to just take a minute to talk about uh, crime prevention. Uh, as, as a lot of people in the mountain communities know, we've had a rash of some burglaries and some, th some thefts that have occurred up here uh, in the Fraser Park area. And uh, for those of you who, who missed it, uh, this past weekend, October 31st, we had a town hall meeting with uh, Assemblywoman Shannon Grove. And at that meeting, I spoke about crime prevention. And so for, for the benefit of the people that didn't make that meeting, I just want to uh, touch on the basics of, of what I discussed and what I spoke about at that meeting. Uh, really, crime prevention in regards to uh, property crimes such as thefts and burglaries really comes down to opportunity. If, if you take away the opportunity uh, for the thief or burglar to commit his crime, it doesn't mean he's not going to commit it still, but he's going to move on to another location and do it. And so it's important that all residents understand that you have to take some steps uh, to take away that opportunity and prevent that crime from happening and prevent you from becoming a victim. Um, one of the things that I really... Uh, spoke a lot about at the meeting, the town hall meeting, was our crime prevention specialist that we have at the sheriff's office. Uh, we have a crime prevention specialist. She's based out of Bakersfield. She's a civilian employee. She's not a uh, deputy sheriff. And she's really good. And what she'll do is, is she goes out to neighborhoods and she will meet with residents and she will help them set up things like neighborhood watch programs. Um, because a lot of people just don't understand how to set a neighborhood watch program up and and there's a lot of things that have to be done for a neighborhood watch program to be successful things like block captains and and um, mechanisms for uh, communication between the residents and stuff and so she will come out if you wish that and she will help you set up a neighborhood watch program in your neighborhood um, and then she also has a great presentation where she um, can uh, give you lots of advice on the things that you can do to your house to, to make it less um, vulnerable to thieves and burglars. Things like, you know, locking mechanisms, lighting, um, making your house less attractive, uh, making, making um, your house look occupied at all times, lighting, surveillance, cameras, alarm systems, all that kind of stuff. She covers all of that. So for those of you who are interested in that, um, I encourage you, you can come by the substation or you can call me at the substation and I can give you that information. I don't have the, her phone number with me right now, but I can get that for you. And I highly encourage you to do that because um, if you don't take away that opportunity for um, a theft or a burglar, burglary to happen, it's going to happen. You will become a victim. And so the first step in preventing that is is you taking those steps as a resident. Once again, the number for your substation? Uh, my substation is 245-3440. Uh, Yes, as, as a matter of fact, um, I think this, this week is the first week of winter. Uh, it got really cold. Um, it, there's some s snow up on the mountains I saw this morning when I came to work. So, you know, the, the main thing about uh, the weather is, is preparation and being careful. Um, the last thing anybody wants to do is get stuck in the snow and be stranded somewhere and not be able to, ha to keep themselves warm, have food, water, that sort of thing. So uh, now's the time to, to make those preparations. Um, I, I would encourage everyone, just in case you get stranded somewhere, make sure you have something to keep you warm, dry, food, water, and stuff like that in your car. And as far as safety goes, you know, the, the main thing that people need to do when it comes to um, this kind of weather, when you talk about wet roads and snow and sleet and rain and stuff, you just need to slow down. You need to give your, allow yourself some extra time to get wherever it is you need, you're going, and you just need to slow down and take your time. Um, that's, the, that's the best advice I can give um, in regards to people being safe.
Thank you so very much. You're welcome.